Hello, my Torians. This is Lover Slain Tarot coming to you with just a read for July 2020. Um, just seeing where your current energy is. Um, so, my good Torian, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, shared, or commented on a video, or just by stopping by and at least just taking an opportunity to hear the message. I really appreciate it. Um, if you would, like, share, subscribe, if these messages resonate with you. If they do not, there are other tarot readers who may resonate with you more in your situation. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, again, there's no gender in tarot, so sometimes we may say he, she. It just depends on what cards we're using, what picture is depicted, and then we use and take up that energy. So please don't get... Um, caught up in gender when it comes to tarot there's no gender in tarot there's just the man the um divine masculine divine feminine um so let's get started so right now my taurians you are embodying the ego spirit now ego spirits I feel like this is, and at the bottom, you have Firefly Spirit. Now, Firefly Spirit, I really like, and that's crazy because I got Firefly Spirit when I did um, my animal um, reading. I wanted to see what I was embodying. So, the Firefly um, is inspired and fantastic yet fleeting. So, you know, um, getting more in tune with your creative side, maybe like writing a poem um, writing a poem, um, or just getting, you know, getting some of your thoughts out, but in a way that is, um, very productive and soothing. Um, a lot of times for the firefly, writing can be, um, therapeutic in you finding your way, um, you know, to the light that you're looking for. So, for the ego spirit, you're embodying power, all pervading power. You're seeking truth, and you tr you're trying to transform karma. Now, the ego is both physically and spiritually strong, and it represents a mystery over elements of fire and air. So, bringing these elements together, it means when the ego appears, you'll soon be thrown into a comic fire for the sake of you transforming. It's time for you to take on a transformation. It's going to push you to be your best self and you're going to stop at nothing to see you see yourself shine and to get in to, to, to bring out the sun that's in you, that happiness. Um, and what it's telling you is that you're stronger than you think you are. Stop doubting yourself and it's awesome because here at the bottom of the deck is doubt you you need to release the need to know all the answers so that that ego spirit is going to rid you of doubt and and bring out the sun that happiness within you because when you're in balance with your ego side you're bright, you're radiant, and you're ready and willing to take on whatever challenges that may come your way. But when you're out of balance, you can become a quite bit controlling. And that may make uh, people uh, standoffish when dealing with you um, and trying to control the situation a lot of times brings in resistance. So to bring yourself back into that um, balance, you need to take a step into the unknown. You know, get out of that comfort zone. We cannot stay in what makes us comfortable and expect to transform and to grow and to change into what it is that we truly want. Ooh. 
No, I just did Aquarius as I'm um, reading, and I was very upbeat and spunky. Now, you guys feel like you need to get some sleep. That just came out of nowhere. For you to step into this unknown, it's going to take a bit of carriage. But you're going to be able to find the inner strength to face your fear with the confidence that you need. It's going to also take patience. You're going to have to be patient with yourself. You're going to have to be patient with others. Things may not happen and transform and come together in the way that you want them to. But that does not mean that they're not coming together, Torian. And I know quite a few Torians, and yes, you all can be a bit, um, can be a bit controlling when, you know, you feel like, uh, things aren't necessarily coming your way. So we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. Mm, interesting. We have the Ace of Swords, so some truth. And we have the Six of Wands and the Upright. The bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles. So you're feeling like you're left out in the cold, but with this Five of Pentacles, if you notice, things aren't fruitful over here. Like it's, it, it's you're feeling in the cold, you're feeling out, you're feeling lack. But right on the other side, on the other side, you see that there's pinnacles, there's life, there's nurture there on the other side. So it's really about you choosing which, which side you want to be on. Is this what it really is or is this your perception? And on the other side could very well be that passionate beginning. Okay? You have a lot of good stuff here, Torian. So what I'm feeling... <sighs> okay. You've made a decision on something that you want. Um, and this is a new deck. So I want to be clear that we are on the right path. This is the Afro Goddess deck, which is a beautiful, beautiful deck. Look at the wonderful artistry. Um, I would definitely say, if you are a tarot reader, stopping past, hey, um, this is a wonderful deck for you to invest in. Um, it's a bit costly, but with the graphics, the artwork, the bag that it comes, like, it's totally worth it. Totally, totally worth it. Um, okay, so with this, you're feeling a bit overwhelmed with the choices that you have and a choice that you're having to make. Um, you're, you're feeling like you're having to step out of your comfort zone. You're not sure. Um, with this, it means you need to take a step back, possibly do some, mm, sorry, possibly do some meditation and get into, um, It's time to focus on what's best for you. Um, and it's, it's, it's not going to be a good idea for you to rush. So again, what did it say? Patience. Because right now, you're going through some financial and material changes within your life. Okay? Which is going to bring you material and spiritual prosperity. But you're going to have to come out of this mentality of feeling lack. You're feeling lack within when, in all actuality, this could be really what it is, where you are. But you're feeling like you're stuck on this side. But why do you feel like that that's your destiny or that's your reality? When there's something right in front of you. There's a creative or passionate beginning right in front of you. And um, 
it's going to come from some truth. You being truthful or being clear about something. So what it is that you're trying to find is some sort of clarity. So I want to see. Well, let's let's clarify. No, sorry. And then we have six of wands. You've been through a lot. You you're getting the recognition and uh, the reward for all of your hard work and the dedication that you've put in. You see the sun behind her. This is com this is happiness that you're finally getting the accolades that you deserve. Let's clarify. Why is the seven of cups in reverse? Okay. Are you ready to make really make positive movement forward? Is this something that you're really trying to do? And look, we have six, seven, eight. So six, seven, eight might be prominent. Look up six, seven, eight as for angel number and see what message that that has. You can Google that on um, Google. Just type in six, seven, eight angel number. Um, I like the trusted psychic medium um, website, but you can choose which you feel applies more to your situation. Um, are you really dedicated to this positive movement forward that you that's coming into your life? Why is this Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the Ace of Swords here? These are being Michaels. What do you do? What is this clarity that's needed? Mm. So you want to know, is there some sort of deception and envy within a spiritual union? Okay, so this is a, okay. So this is a union that is divinely guided, but you feel as though, you feel like you have clarity. But it's telling you at the bottom to choose wisely. Because I don't think that you are being clear on what is really going on. I don't feel like you have all the answers, but you feel like without you having all the answers, you can't come to an informed decision. So this six of wands, this recognition, uh, but this also can speak of ego. material harvest so you've been working really hard on your finances your family um getting your things and getting things in order um that's what you have been focused on so we have six seven eight nine we have two sevens we have a ten We have two tens. So there is a completion. There is something that is ending to begin. Because, of course, endings are beginnings. So there's a completion here, Torian, that you're going through. And I feel like once you go ahead, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This came out in just the shuffle. I didn't want all these cards, though. New beginnings. Movement, choices, decisions. So we're back here with you not feeling like you have, you're not able to make this decision. But again, it says choose wisely. So it's going to take patience. You need to take some time, take a step back in order for you to really figure out what it is that you want moving forward. But at the end of the day, what is it saying? You will triumph and you will have victory over this situation. So, Torian, please don't be, and it's going to take some solitude. You going within and you being alone. Look at these nines. So, we have three nines. Look up 999, maybe significant. Um, it's going to take you going within. 
taking some time for yourself. Okay, let's see what twin flame message that we have, you know, and don't trust, you know, yes, look, sacred space, look at this, this is the problem here, and I knew it, ego, that ego was involved, pride, jealousy, self-preservation walls, let your guard down, how do you expect to move towards your heart's desire if you have a wall up? All of you have to be in alignment. Your whole, your entire being has to be in alignment. Hmm. Sacred space, again, coinciding with this solitude. Firm foundation, look. The meditation, this is what's gonna give you your clarity. You meditating, going within. I love it. Love it. Altar prayer candles. Commune with your own divinity. So it's time for you to go within and do some work. Let's get a rabble message. Let's see what rabble has to say. You know, I love these raw messages for the twin. Yes, rabble. What? What messages do you have for my Torian? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know it's ego. That ego is plaguing you, Torian. All right. Ooh. Looks, Torian. Mm. You are being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. First card. It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out your ass pronto. Some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Shit is going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. So, we're going to get an affirmator. Let's see, this is your affirmation for the week, Victorian. This is what you need to be working on. Now, we're not taking to one card. This is your affirmator for the week. Get your journal, write it down. Affirmation for the week for my toys. For my good boys. Ooh, I got a lot of mm -hmm. Divine timing is at play within your relationships. Okay? So, divine timing. Everything in my life is divine timing and all is unfolding as it should with many exciting possibilities for tomorrow including so get your journal write it out this has been a really really good reading my Torian. you're gonna have to release the ego you're gonna have to go within and you're going to have to really do some soul searching. Because right here, it's saying, in order for you to become one with yourself and be in alignment with your career, with your love life, within yourself, it's going to take courage. You releasing the fear of needing to know everything right then and there. You taking some time out and a step back and taking some time out for yourself and, and get rid of those uh, ideas that, you know, all is lost. You're not going to be able to move forward and, 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 and find some type of clarity within a, co a connection. This is a divinely guided connection. So, you know, you don't get this too often. Don't squander it away. If it's something you feel like you need clarity on, express that. Express it. But just know being shady is not going to get it. Being shady, being angry, 
um, and living through your ego is not going to help. But um, thank you so much for stopping by, Torians. I hope this message resonated with you all. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, and um, I would love for you to return and become a part of the Lover's Lane family. Um, if this is a place where, you know, I feel like I want everyone to be able to be themselves. I want you to be able to be respectful um, to one another. I totally agree and, and you know, uh, uh, deal with respect. And I also love for people to debate and share their opinions um, and just know that, you know, we are all we all have our own outlook on life. And let's all share because you never know someone else's outlook or perspective could also be a life changing thing that could be very good for you and your movement forward within your life and in your journey and your path. So thank you again for stopping by and I really hope that these messages resonated and I hope I will hear from you guys soon. Namaste. Have a great week.